Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. I wanted to jump on and talk about calories. <sighs> Why just counting calories is not gonna be the thing for you to really get to your goals. And this is something that's so old school and so many women still follow and say, oh my gosh, I can't eat this or that, or hmm, I can eat this or that because it falls within my calories for the day. And I'm always like, no, oh, that's not what it's just about. So in the 12 week program that I have, and I have another round coming up, I'm going to put a link below this video where you can click chat with me. If you're struggling with this, um, I'm more than happy to give you tips or pointers on what it is that you're missing specifically, because oftentimes it's just like a tweak here or there to really focus and move you forward. And for a lot of women, they're focused on this. They're focused on calories. And that's not what's going to get you there. So when we do in my 12 week program, women go through this entire change. You stop being frustrated. You stop fighting with your body. You start really doing things that are beneficial and positive and you start seeing and feeling results that you couldn't see and feel before. It's completely amazing. And it's because there's so many different aspects of it that are focused on nutrients in the 12 week program that I have. So I'll put a link below. If you guys have questions on that, I'm more than happy to chat with you, but it's meal plan, grocery list, right? We go through protein pacing, carb cycling, oh, intermittent fasting, all for women, all designed for women. Oh, Cause that's amazing. I mean, it's a program specifically designed for women's, their bodies, their hormones. Um, it's based off of my book, the female fat solution. This goes in depth into um, nutrition for your body and hormones. So this is on Amazon. If you haven't read this, if you want more resources out there, um, I also have a podcast called The Female Health Solution. So you can subscribe to that. And then all my videos get uploaded to YouTube. So you, if you're searching for something like endometriosis or something like that, it is probably on my YouTube channel. So let's dive in. Let's dive in to the nitty gritty of the calories and what this really is, right? Now, everybody's very familiar. They're going to look at a food and say it's this or that, right? So for example, here's an apple. When you look at this apple, what do you classify it as? Do you classify it as, oh, it's this many calories? Or do you classify it as it fits into this nutrient group, which would be carb because it's a fruit. You know, that's a really important way of how you even look at the food that you're eating and how you put your meals together, right? So if you're looking at your food in just calories, right? You're just thinking, oh, uh, it's just this many calories in and then I have to work out to burn, burn off that many calories. What? what does that even mean? Right? Oh, then you're really sort of narrowing your focus on how the body works and functions. And specifically, if you are female, you are missing completely the fact that you have a different body each week of the month. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. So great that each week of the month, your hormones are shifting and changing and ebbing and flowing so much that if you're eating the same each week, you're missing out on a huge component of working with how your body naturally functions. So, I mean, not that you're not trying, right? And this is when I chat with women, most of the time they're like, I'm eating clean. I'm eating healthy. I've tried, you know, paleo or keto or Weight Watchers or Whole30 or right all these things. And they're thinking, I'm trying all this stuff. And I'm like, good, great. You're missing a huge component of it though. If you're not really acknowledging where your body's at and how to match that with your nutrition. Yeah. So you have a different body each week of the month. And... If all you're doing is thinking, I just need to eat this many calories and burn this many more calories and then I will lose weight for sure. Oh my God, that seems like such a nice equation. We're not machines though. That's not how <laughs> the human body is so much more dynamic than that, than just like calories in, calories out. If it was that simple, we wouldn't have the obesity epidemic that we have in this country. Seriously. It's not that simple, right? So... It has to do with everybody being treated the same, that your metabolism is seen as the same as the next person's, and it's not. It has to do with, again, for women, there's different weeks of the month that it's important that you're actually getting more calorie in, or you're going to be depleting your body, your system. Yeah, that's not good. So really treating your body that it's completely different and unique. What happens most of the time when I chat with women when they've been counting calories, it's a depletion. They're depleting their body. They're being restrictive and they're depleting their body, which guess what? Causes stress on the system. You know what the female body does when it's under stress? Stores fat. Mm -hmm. It gets really good. 
really good at storing fat. <sighs> so great. No, not great, not great. Exactly the opposite of what you want, right? Ugh. So when we look at counting nutrients, again, I, look, I use this apple as an example. I don't know why I keep putting it way over there, by the way. I'm like way reaching <laughs> over there. Um, using, oh, Spot, sorry. He's just moving in the background, making sure he's, he might pop in the video. So maybe Spot will pop in, we'll see. Um, when you're looking at this apple and looking at the nutrient value of it, and saying, okay, how is this gonna fuel my body? Where am I gonna get energy from this? How is this gonna support my metabolism? That's how you're looking at this, not of, mm, there's this many calories of it, right? So you're looking at foods of protein, fats, and carbs across the board. Whenever I chat with women, the one nutrient that they are missing the most of is protein. Protein pacing is so essential and important for women because it gives you energy, it helps you with your metabolism and it's going to help level your blood sugars, your hormones, everything else. It is so, so valuable to do protein pacing. I can't, I can't, I <laughs> can't you know, stress this enough um, because it shifts so many things in the female body. Now, the other thing to kind of keep in mind for women when they start fueling and you include these nutrients is that if you've done this in the past, if you've done depletion diets, if you've been really restrictive, shifting to a, a nutrient-based diet where you're focused on fueling your body and increasing your metabolism, your body may have to go through some repairs. Some people call this reverse dieting, repairing your metabolism. But if you've been depleted, your tissues may not be as strong. Some of your organs may not be as strong. And when you start fueling your body, your body will start to repair from the inside out. So women will be like, well, I'm trying to lose weight. You're thinking weight loss is the end goal. But for a lot of women, you need to get healthier first before you can be at your healthiest weight, I call it your best weight for your body, size, shape, goals, all that stuff, right? So it's it's not about, re, you know, counting calories to restrict or getting your body in a stress mode and depleting because that causes damage to your body and tissues in a lot of different areas. So when you switch to this, again, it doesn't happen right away typically. Your body repairs. All of a sudden, it's got these proteins and these healthy fats to fuel the system, to repair these tissues that have been damaged for a really long time. And if you've been doing this for a long time or jumped around on crazy diets, it really stresses out your system and it doesn't, it takes it a while to figure out, oh my gosh, oh, I, I am being fueled properly. Um, I am being, you know, uh, getting the nutrient I need so that I can recover and repair and get to my healthiest self and then get in a fat burning storage or fat burning mode instead of the fat storage mode. Otherwise, that's what the body does, right? That's what the female body does. It will fat store when it's depleted. Sort of the opposite, right? That you want to have as a result. So how are you looking at food and nutrient for your body? Are you looking at it as fuel? Great, because then you're going to be doing things like protein pacing, getting enough healthy fats to support all of the hormones and, and everything that happens in your body. And you're going to be getting enough of these nutrients to fuel your system versus just depleting and causing a lot of issues and damage um, and damage to, you know, the metabolism, everything else. So, so these are really important things to kind of think about and note when you're looking at, I want to start something new. Oh my gosh, fall is coming. I want to get a totally new result. I want to, you know, have these amazing things happen. That's so great. I am super supportive of people who want to get to their goals. But if you're doing it in a really like dangerous depletion way, that's going to be really tough. One, to maintain, but two, to keep going on because you're actually hurting your body more than you're helping it. When you're focused on the nutrients, proteins, fats, carbs, fueling your body, it's amazing the difference that happens. It's amazing the energy that you can have, the metabolism that you have, you know, and just how much easier it is to start to get towards your goals. Now, the one caveat I will say, like I said before, is if you've done some of this stuff in the past, like crazy diet stuff, it can take some time for your body to start to really repair. Because again, the female body is designed to respond a different way to the male than the male body to stressors. So, these are things that aren't talked about for women. These are things that aren't shared with women. So in my 12-week program, when I work with women more one-on-one -on -one and guide women through this process, it's really important that, and I have things timed out specifically because as you start to fuel, your body starts to shift and change and you're like, this is really different. 
I like this. I feel really, I feel better than I felt in a really long time, but is this okay? Or how does this work? It's so different for women because we're really getting out of that stress mode and fueling from the inside out. So those are the things that I love to walk women through and then watch them see the shift and change happen in their body. Watch them notice, oh my gosh, this is totally new for me. I'm able to get this new result because I'm, I'm so different now, you know, and you're different from the inside out. That also means you're not sliding back, right? This isn't like a quick weight loss where all of a sudden you're going to gain and go from there. You know, those are really dangerous things. So this is a message I feel like we don't talk enough about and we don't spend enough time on because it is really, really essential that women understand how important this is for their health, their body, and to get to their goals. Yeah. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, I'll put that link below. You can click the link, um, schedule a call with me. I've got lots of different call times. I chat with women every day. I promise no question is too weird or dumb or whatever. I, you know, you would be shocked at some of the things that people ask just because they're so confused because there's so much info out there and they just want to know where do I start or how do I do this? Right? So, like I said, click the link. I'm more than happy to chat and give you some answers. And if you're looking for other resources or anything, let me know. Otherwise, I thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Um, I so appreciate all of the support from everybody out there and for sharing this message because it is my mission just to share messages like this with other women who are trying to do this and stuck and frustrated. I want to help end that frustration and have them realize, like, it's not you. Like, you're not crazy. <laughs> Your body works totally different than what people are telling you. And once you understand that, you're like, oh, duh, yeah, huh, that does make sense. My hormones do change all the time, so I should be kind of shifting what I'm doing. You know, that would make sense that I'd want to work with how my body naturally functions. Hmm, weird, yeah, mm-hmm, yes. All right, so that's what I got. I'll put that link below. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys later.